Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. They're good friends. Yeah, they probably are. Welcome to another Five with Father, and I have Violet McKnight here with me, and uh, new employee, newest employee. She has her name tag on, <laughs> and uh, she was just sharing with me some of the pictures in the university hospitals volunteers um, calendar. So, really, what did, how did you put it? What did you say about these pictures? You don't remember. Uh. You said that they were really cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's some. There are some really cute pictures. And so we were going to do like the car commercial, and she was going to tell them to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so these are available in the office. Um, twenty bucks. And so twenty dollars, and most of it goes to help the organization. Uh, the cancer patients at university hospitals and their volunteers there. So what is that? So this is a home blessing kit. And these are the same as we used last year. Uh, the instructions and the prayer. Uh, holy water. Dun, dun, dun. I know, I won't do it. <laughs> I made a mess last time. And then a piece of chalk so you can write the date on the door, over the door. So home blessing kits are available to everyone who comes to Mass this weekend. Saturday, Sunday, it'll be available. After that, I keep, because I want the chalk and the, and the holy water, I'm gonna keep all the rest of them to myself. Just joking. Um, you can bless your home. You uh, take a home blessing kit with you and do your thing. Does it matter which door you do it on? Well, you should always do it on the door, the front door, the main door that people come in and out of. Some people have that on the side of their house. Some people have it on the front. Um, and it's all explained to you why we do what we do. So it's like the invitation to allow Jesus to come in, the three wise men, and all the rest of that, the epiphany blessing. Um, the water is blessed. Um, and we are asking for God to make himself at home in our house. So... The main door that everybody uses to come in and go out is the one that you should bless and write the number over. So, did you know what was happening on Saturday morning here at 7 o'clock? So, there's a men's prayer group. They're going to pray the rosary and do a discipleship on the Saturdays ongoing from here till whenever. And we're going to do the rosary, discipleship, donuts. So I think it's pretty cool. Donuts and coffee. You like donuts. You like donuts almost as much as I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's this big kickoff. This Saturday will be the first Saturday uh, of this prayer group. So we'll all get together. Um, I won't be here for the rosary because I have mass over on the west side. But um, everybody will get together. Men will get together. Bring your sons. And uh, have a men's prayer group going on. It'll be pretty cool. Do you know when Ash Wednesday is this year? No. <laughs> so, do you know when Valentine's Day is this year? No, I Okay, February 14th is Valentine's Day and Ash Wednesday. So instead of having a Valentine's Day dinner, that's what we did last year, we're gonna have a Mardi Gras day here in a parish where we're gonna eat all kind of festive foods and have a king cake or two. And we're gonna have a Mardi Gras theme so that we can prepare for uh, Ash Wednesday with a Fat Tuesday and have everybody together. So Valentine's Day, Fat Tuesday is gonna to be combined together. Sounds pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I think so too. I'm not sure, when do you go back to school? Um, next Monday. On the 8th. So you know I was hoping? I was hoping that you'd be around to help take down all the Christmas tree decorations. So after the nine o'clock mass, you'll already be back in school. We're gonna take down all the decorations and we need volunteers. We need a lot of volunteers because it's harder to pack it all up than put it away than it is to take it all and stick it up on the thing. So uh, volunteers are needed. So if you have the opportunity, please come and volunteer after the nine o'clock mass. 
We're taking it all apart and doing so thing. So that be a Tuesday? That's going to be a Monday. That's the day you go back to school. So you know what else? You go back to school on the 8th. So family first starts back up on the 8th also. So our first session of uh, family first is on the 8th in the evening. And 8th and 9th, we'll be back in session. So you ready? Tell me a joke. Micah. Who's there? Jester. Just a who? Just a old silly man. <laughs> that that's pretty awesome. <laughs> you got another one? Uh <laughs> knock knock. Who's that? A little boy. A little boy who? Oh boy, he can't reach the doorbell. <laughs> I like your jokes way better than mine. <laughs> so here's one of mine. Um, how did the barber win the race? He took a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> So, I went into work the other day. My boss said, have a good day. So I left. <laughs> Not as funny as you were. <laughs> so, tell everybody that's fine with Father. Well, that was fine with Father. And we'll see you in church. Bye. So, tell them that you'll see him in church. See you in church. <laughs> And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See ya.